Can you imagine what the life of a physically disabled person would be like without his or her wheelchair? Or the life of a sight impaired person without his or her cane? Or the life of a person with hearing disability if he or she didn't know sign language? Yes, they're all extreme cases, I know, but the truth is that from one side of our planet to the other, we all need some kind of help. This is the case of Carlos and Julio, two people living an ocean apart, but who share the same reality. They both live in a wheelchair. Carlos is a 12-year-old kid from Colombia, born in a rural area called Nariño that's a long way away from the city of Bogota. Julio is 55 years old and lives in the Basque Country, in a great city called Bilbao. As a consequence of a childhood illness, Carlos lost a big percentage of his mobility. Since then, he has been 100% dependent on the help of his parents and a couple of international cooperation organizations that are trying to improve his quality of life. These same organizations have given him a wheelchair and a specially adapted machine that lets him eat, bend down and write more easily. Thanks to this help, Carlos can attend school and live in society more independently. At the weekends, Carlos hangs out with his friends and family around Nariño, a city in which the streets, shops and public transport systems all lack the proper adaptation for people with physical disabilities. The day Julio discovered that due to his accident he was never going to be able to walk again, his life changed dramatically. However, thanks to his feisty spirit, the support of his family and friends and government help, he manages to keep moving forward every day. The Basque government has given him a disability pension for the rest of his life. Thanks to this, he has been able to hire two social workers who help him take care of himself, cook and clean the house. And to maintain his physical condition, Julio goes to a social center financed by the Biscay government, where he receives training and rehabilitation sessions that help him reduce his dependence on other people. In his free time, Julio enjoys reading historical novels, going out to dinner with his soulmate, or going to the theater in a city that's better prepared and adapted for people with physical disabilities. Two lives linked by the same disability that show us that with the right help, both people can lead full, satisfactory lives. Thank you.